this is a rest area. It's just a few miles to the actual LBJ uh, historic site. Very nice rest area here. I slipped the camera back in to film our grand arrival. Lots of traffic today. There it is, one mile. LBJ historic park. Certainly, uh, President Johnson uh, was uh, a tragic figure, very large, much a larger than life individual. Uh, he's a local boy, grew up in Johnson City, the town just behind us a couple of miles. Uh, went to what was then Southwest Texas State Teachers College, you now it's Southwest University or something. And he, uh, he, his first job was teaching in, I think, the elementary school in Johnson City, and then he got into politics and wound up president. Uh, he's the one who really got us into Vietnam, and I don't know why. Here we are. Here's the park. Here's the park. This is his ranch. This is his ranch. He came out here a lot when he was president, and of course retired here. He passed away, I believe, in 1971 or two, because uh, uh, I was uh, staying, living in a dorm at the University of Texas at that time, and he laid in state in the uh, 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 there at UT, and I remember that. Well, there's not a lot of people here. I guess that's the visitor center down there. As a park hunter, we, we uh, park stamp hunter, we definitely want the, uh, know the, want to know the visitor center. Okay, this is an FJR, so you can't just park them anywhere. You got to use a little bit of planning here. I'm looking for something with a, either I'm going to back into it or if I can go forward into it, that's fine as long as it goes downhill. And these over here on the right look good. This looks good here. All right. Went to the visitor center, which is mainly a souvenir shop, but they had a very helpful young park ranger in there who uh, kind of gave me the rundown on what's here. Uh, so we're going to drive over to the ranch itself. There's several things to see and do here at the LBJ Ranch. This is uh, this is President Johnson's uh, final resting place. Uh, he's the one on the viewer's right. The larger of the tombstones, the one on the left is Mrs. Johnson, and the rest is other members of the Johnson family. Uh, I've picked a spectacularly nice funeral plot with these gigantic, you know, century-old oak trees. And over there just beyond the, uh, the little rise there is the Pernalis River. And I think this is his boyhood home across the street, so we'll look at it. Boy, that's a nice bike there. Look at that bike. Golly. Who wouldn't want to have a bike like that? Okay, folks, what we're looking at here is uh, President Johnson's guest house on his ranch. This house was closely patterned after the house he was born in, which was torn down in the 40s. This is what you call a dog run house. has, you know, basically two sides to it with a big breezeway, uh, with a, a, a large breezeway in the center. And the pioneers in Texas found uh, this was the best way to build a house uh, before air conditioning because the any breeze would kind of it creates kind of a wind tunnel there in the uh, in the breezeway makes it a little bit cooler uh, I've often dreamed of having a house just like this when I retire <laughs> you know if I ever can retire there was a time when I thought I could retire but that's a subject of another video but this is a beautiful thing Mr. Johnson had this built as a guest house it is a a close replica of the house that he was born and grew up in
Uh, his dad, I, I didn't know that until I got here, was a state legislator, so he was born into a political family, which seems like lots of presidents are. And how's that for a how's that for a front yard for your your guest house? Pretty darn nice, pretty darn nice, I'd say. There's that nice bike again. Just keep coming back to it. Is that not a nice bike or what? I think it is. Uh, I think it is. Uh, she's maybe a little heavy, but I'm a little heavy too, so I can't hold that against her. And, uh, she can certainly uh, run with run like the wind, heavy or not. Okay. Well, we visited the Johnson Cemetery and the, the Johnson Guest House. Uh, so let's go see the, uh, the Texas White House and the uh, airport they have here. Hello, cows. Let's give these cows a wide berth. Hereford, I believe these are Hereford cows, or Herefords as we would say here in Texas. There's a farmhouse. My goodness. I hope that guy on the right doesn't panic and run right in front of me. This was and is a working ranch, so you can see they have the fields for grazing all laid out. The hay barn there, I believe, is what that's called. Call the deer fence there to the right. You see that where uh, ranchers a lot of times have hunting leases and they, they want the deer to stay on their property. So they put those tall fences up that it's harder for the deer to jump over. Keeps in there a lot of times uh, you'll see exotic game ranches for hunting here in, uh, Austin, in Texas where they'll have uh, not just gear, deer but uh, you know elk and uh, uh, impalas and all kinds of exotic animals for people to to kill for the sport of it which is a concept that's kind of always eluded me but a lot of people enjoy it and who am I to say they're wrong certainly I'm not above eating an animal so I can't be opposed to killing them okay I pulled over if you look real close, you can see the wind, what we call the wind triangle. It says LBJ on it. That's the tail landing airplanes. Uh, make it easy to see which way the wind is, uh, is, is blowing. So you go would land in the direction it's pointing. Over there where that big radio antenna is, I don't know if you can see it. Let's tell us this. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Texas White House, I think. This is his, I think it's six, 7,000 foot runway. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. And you can see a beautiful panoramic view of the Texas Hill Country. It's complex. There's that Jetstar, four engine, really the first business jet, although it was actually designed for the Air Force. I can remember seeing those when I was in the Air Force. The uh, pilots wore these natty uh, 
blue blazers. They didn't wear uniforms. Okay, Jim, how are we going to park here? This is, a this is what President Johnson called Air Force One Half. It's a Lockheed DC 140 known as a Jet Star. It's only been out here a couple of months. They had somebody uh, found it in the boneyard together to restore it. Uh, notice the, the two engines there at the tail, two on each side. Big fuel tanks. This thing didn't get good mileage, but you know, we're talking 1960 here. So it's 50 year old technology. Still a pretty, uh, pretty capable airplane if you have the, uh, you know, the credit card that can buy the, the fuel for it. Although these are quite noisy, and noise is what kind of done away with it more than anything else. There's lots of airports won't allow these in because they're so noisy. Uh, VC-140, Lockheed Jetstar, of the type often used by President Johnson. Uh, these are some of Mr. Johnson's vehicles. He loved these uh, Lincolns. And uh, there's lots of stories about how exciting visitors had when he'd put them in that car and drive them around the perimeter. <laughs> That's an amphicar. It's amphibious. Made in the 60s. And there's President Johnson. <laughs> you can see the, uh, you can't see it here in the thing, but if you look at the picture real close, you can see it's got a boat registration number on it too. White House in the United States. He spent about a quarter of his presidency out here, but it's not really for vacation, it's very much so for business. There are 72 phone lines inside the house. All these TVs, technologies that made it possible for him to keep in touch with DC. He supplies staff, world leaders out from uh, DC Island Air Force One. They land, they have the airship, come out here to have meetings. And sometimes they take place inside the house, other times over there by the pool. He likes to swim during his meetings. He actually had a phone line that went from the house into the pool, a little inner tube with a phone inside the inner tube. So he could swim and talk on the phone at the same time. A lot of times, like having meetings right here on the front lawn with that live oak tree. So if y'all will join me over there by that sign, we'll see what one of those meetings used to look like. Stepping into the office and back in time to the 1960s, and this was that remote working White House. Now, your digital cameras were not invented back then, so you're not using them inside. You got one of the old school cameras, you can't use that either. <laughs> Y'all come on in. His administration, we talked about a lot of his legislation inside. Uh, it's inspired by FDR, Harry Truman, and the great society, might have made LBJ a great American president, but he is typically remembered for something else that dropped his president to or was in the, excuse me, the Vietnam War. You all probably know people that bought died over there. You can hear the war to some degree. Children, eyes, and hands, and the over there. But Johnson definitely escalated the war. All the talk that happened in 1968. Half a million shouting from the White House, hey, hey, I'll be gay. How many people you killed today? Well, this completes our visit to the LBJ Ranch. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a very interesting tour. I, I highly recommend uh, that uh, anybody interested in uh, seeing some beautiful uh, kind of te early Texas architecture, uh, beautiful ranch, uh, a lot of information about a very interesting president. You ought to come on down here. Y'all here? This is Jim.